So I'm going to create a rule next that will basically look for issues that are uh, overdue that have been stuck in a block status for quite a long time and show you how you can use an automation rule to escalate those types of issues. So let's go ahead and create this rule. And for this rule, we're going to use the schedule trigger, which I showed you earlier. So with a schedule trigger, we can set up a rule that runs on a regular interval. So we can either schedule this to run every day or perhaps once a week or perhaps once a month. Or we could even set a specific time of day with a cron expression. So you could schedule this to run at 9 a.m. every weekday. And then in this trigger, we can also configure which issues this rule should run for. So I can basically uh, define some custom JQL here that will look for any issue that's currently blocked and hasn't been updated for more than five days. So this is some JQL that you can very easily um, try out in the issue navigator to find just the right issues that you need. It gives you very detailed access to all the right um, information and issues that you want to automate. And then we can go ahead and actually perform some actions on those issues. So in this scenario, probably the first thing we want to do is actually transition these issues that have been blocked for quite a long time into a new status in our workflow. So I can, I can actually move this from blocked to escalated to the dev team. And hopefully that means that our whole dev team can now see these in a new column on their agile board. And some people will actually start looking at these issues uh, as with a bit more priority and hopefully action them soon. The next thing we should probably do as well is if an issue has been blocked and no one's really looked at it for five days, we should probably tell the reporter of that issue that you know, it's something we're aware of and we're going to look at this very soon. So I can simply add a comment here to this, uh, to any of these blocked issues with our comment issue action. Now this comment body here includes a slightly more advanced concept that I haven't introduced yet. And that is our smart values. So with smart values, so anything that's surrounded by these double curly braces, you can basically access uh, any in amount of information from the issue that this rule is running for. So in this case, we're accessing the reporter of the issue that's been blocked. We get the full name of that reporter, uh, separate first and last name, and then we just display the first name here. So that's a pretty complex example, uh, but you can also do simpler stuff like accessing the issue key, or perhaps you just want to include the issue description in this comment as well. Um, and you can access any field, whether that's a system field or custom field in JIRA with smart values. So this is a fairly uh, complex uh, use case, but we do have um, very detailed docs around uh, which smart values are available. And we're also going to run a more detailed webinar in future that will explain how smart values work um, pretty soon. Okay, so now that we have a comment here for the reporter, probably the only thing that we wanna do is actually send our development team uh, a notification just to really make sure that they are going to look at this soon. So we can use our send Slack message uh, action here and basically add a message for our development team that will get sent to the right Slack channel and tell them using another smart value that this particular issue that we found that was blocked should be actioned. Uh, and that should really make sure that no one, uh, none of these issues fall through the cracks and that someone from our dev team will really look at this. So that's really it for this rule. So again, we just need to give it a name um, and turn it on. Now, because this is a bit of a time-based uh, rule, it's a bit hard to demo this in a live demo. But trust me, this is something that we use extensively ourselves. So we definitely use this in a support context as well. So we have rules like this set up that will automatically um, ask customers for more information if they basically don't reply to us in a support case uh, for more than a week or more than a certain, certain amount of time. Uh, and this really makes sure that none of these support cases fall through the cracks. But it can also be useful in a software context for blocked issues that might be blocked on external dependencies and things like that.